हेलो एवरी वन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वेरी हैप्पी न्यू ईयर टू एवरी वन एंड आई एम ऑल्सो हैप्पी दैट वी हैव क्रॉस्ड ओवर थ्री हंड्रेड मार्क वी आर नो मोस्ट स्ट्रॉगर कम्यूनिटी एंड बिग फॉर दैट एंड वी विल ऑल्सो ब्रिंग अ सेशन ऑन हाउ यू कैन सेट आर गोल्स विच कैन रियली मेक अ डिफरेंस बट नाउ टू डेज टॉपिक इज वी वॉन्ट टू लर्न इज दैट वॉट इज द की डिफरेंस बिटवीन Uh, your adverse events and adverse drug reaction what is the difference between event and reaction so this is the most confusing definitions for student but what i tried is that we will try to learn it by examples that so you don't get it confused and this is also one of the key question when you go for any uh, pharmacovigilance interview or even uh, you are clinical research interview this one question is asked more often that what is the difference between event and reaction so let's understand one by one uh, event is any untoward medical occurrence in a patient or clinical investigation basically your clinical trials subject administered a pharmaceutical product which doesn't have a casual relationship with treatment so important word here is to remember is the casual relationship just mark it keep it in mind so any unpleasant reaction any untoward medical occurrence which is happening in your trial or even the drug once in the market that is known as a adverse event now let's try to understand by example suppose there is a person a that person a participated in because in clinical trial we don't use names right so that per subject you can say this is subject subject a that participated in a clinical trial and suddenly that person met with an accident and in this accident maybe there are small scratches also maybe this accident can be very big that we are not considering just max um, that person met with an accident so irrespective of the fact so is it related to drug or not this will considered as a adverse event so person is well, he has taken in a new medication and the evening or some other day he met with an accident this will considered as adverse event without knowing that is it related to drug or not you won't go into this is it related to drug or not no question asked or similarly there is another person de you know that person experienced very small uh, you know a headache but since he, that person is also taking a new medicinal product so this person this will also be considered as adverse event again no matter is it related to drug or not so this is the difference i hope you got it like anyone any unusual experience which happens once you take a new medicinal product it is known as a adverse drug yeah, it is known as adverse event no matter is it related to drug or a not so now we will take another example what another example can be uh, that example can be even this we you are abnormal lab values suppose there is change in some laboratory pa parameter that will also be con considered as a adverse event so abnormal lab parameter so they, there may be a change in some value so that will also be considered as adverse event no matter is it related to drug or not so main is is it related to drug or no it is considered as a event now the difference is in the reaction is that let's see what is the different what is the definition of adverse drug reaction so the definition of adverse drug reaction is noxious and unattended responses to medicinal product related to any dose should be considered adverse drug reaction its bookish definition the more important is you have to again see the casual relationship 
So this person, when we say that met with an accident, no matter is it related or not related to drug, it will be considered as event. The moment there is a suspicion, a reasonable possibility that it is related to drug, then it will become a reaction. So if it is related to drug, so it will become a reaction. So your adverse event that you have reported, the moment it is related to, there is a suspicion, not even confirmation, there is a suspicion possibility that it may be related to drug, it will become a reaction. Similarly, this will also become a reaction if uh, it is related to drug. Abnormal lab parameter. So if it is later found that it is related to drug, it will become a reaction. So that is the main difference that if it is related to drug or not. So then if it is not, then it will be event only. If it is related to your medicinal product, it is reaction. So now there can be uh, many um, events posed. There are 100 adverse event. 100 adverse event are reported. Just an example. Consider this big circle as even. Now your reaction will be a smaller circle in the event. So this will be reaction. So out of 100 this number can be only 30. So those are related to your drug. So this be, will be ADR. No all adverse event why i drawn this discuss all adverse event can't be adverse reaction so all adverse events uh, sorry all adverse drug reaction they will be adverse events so you should remember this statement all um, adr are aes because first it is reported ae only then it related came to know that there is a possibility that it is related to study drug or not so just imagine the bigger circle is your AE, a smaller circle is ADR. If there are 100 adverse event, out of that only 30, 20, they will be found that there is a relationship to our drug. So all ADRs are AEs, but other way around is not correct. All AEs are not ADRs. Remember this. This is also asked very oftenly that uh, all ADRs are AEs because see this bigger circle is or bigger circle is adverse event. So anything small, big is adverse event. And out of those adverse event, if it is found that it is related to study drug, then it will be known as a you are adverse drug reaction. So this is uh, clear. You know, and all ADRs are A because see, ADR is within this A. That's why I have drawn. And all A's are not ADRs, right? So, sorry, all A's are not ADRs, yes. So, I hope this is very clear. So, anything which happens big or small in a clinical trial, if it is related to drug, it is your reaction. Otherwise, it is event. So, now this... ADS can be mild, moderate, severe. That is a different discussion. That is an in-depth discussion. And just only one thing wanted to tell you. There is another, uh, uh, you know, video also on our channel that if this A is serious, you know, it is serious. Those your five conditions: death, hospitalization, prolonged hospitalization, uh, congenital effect permanent disability it is if it is out of those five then this is known as a SA serious adverse event so I hope you find this session interesting and I will request to you know leave your questions in the chat box box and also share about our channel with other friends we really need your support thank you so much